Hi, this is Steve Walton from Tropic Heating and PatioHeat.com. Here is a simplistic design here. So this customer is in construction and they have some, uh, well, they have their electrician there ready to put in the power, but um, I had some very minimal uh, dimensions that I needed to work with. So I just want to show you what you can and cannot do and what um, I might recommend for an application like this or similar to this because I don't have the true dimensions. Um, I do have the dimensions of the space here. I got 16 feet by 25 feet, 8 feet 10 inches tall, and approximately 5 feet 6 inches to the top of this ledge here. So here are a couple of things you first of all cannot do. This is an absolute not do on this uh, equipment and I think um, they might be considering this issue or this uh, application but let's just say you wanted to put these uh, heaters in an, an angle like this well what will happen is the heaters will droop these are um, uh, steel elements that glow red hot essentially and those elements will heat up and as they expand uh, they will or as they heat up they will expand and as they cool off they will contract and when they contract they will fall all the way down the side causing a short and uh, causing the unit to either burn out or um, short out. So this is not something you can do. Um, if it's uh, a job where you have a, a ceiling like this when you can have it finished off um, you know with the drywall or stucco or whatever then you're gonna have to do something like this. Now again I don't have the actual um, dimensions of these skylights so I don't know exactly where to place them but um, this would be the style of uh, heating that you'll need to use something of this nature here. Um, you can go off this edge and then point the heaters out you know towards the center um, and that would be fine um, but this here is not going to work and will cause uh, issues greatly. So um, let's go ahead and just look over here. Um, these heaters would be recessed in the ceiling and um, let me just uh, see if I can remove this ceiling here for a second so you can kind of see. Uh, let's see here. Um, all right so I'm just hiding the ceiling there and um, so the heaters could be placed something like this, or they can be placed um, 90 degrees from this angle, and I'm sure that would be more appropriate based on the fact that these joists are um, going across this direction here from left to right, not forward to backwards here. So, But this would be um, something you can do. I need to know the exact dimensions of these skylights in order to place them there. These are 6,000 watt units. I place 6,000 watt units because of the dimension. Your size is awfully large and um, 5,000 watts will not heat up this whole entire space. So that being said, that's about all I can offer at this point is um, utilizing six, four of the 6,000 watt units uh, primarily for this space. You can even see here we're not uh, heating up the whole entire space. These are four feet off of the edge, center to the heater. Um, but again, you'd probably want to go this direction. And if that's the direction, then a 5,000 watt unit would be okay, as long as we have the space to put one here, one here somewhere, um, in front of the skylights, and possibly one in the middle, and then one on the end. So possibly six 5,000 watt units to heat up this whole entire space. That's about all I can say. Thank you very much. Um, I know this is a quick and doesn't give you um, specific answers, but I really wanted to touch on this. This is not something that can be done, and I'm not even sure if this is what the uh, customer is considering, but I um, want to make sure that that point is very clear. Thank you and have a great day.